Now, for the second day in a row, President Biden canceled plans to travel to his home in Wilmington, Delaware. The president met with his national security team at the White House about the evolving situation in Afghanistan. CBS News correspondent Christina Raffini has been covering the fallout from the evacuations from the country, and she joins me here now in New York. Christina, what do we know about what led to this new security threat outside Kabul's airport? The security threat is directly related to what happened when Bagram Air Base fell. There was a prison nearby, and the Taliban released about 5,000 hardened ISIS fighters who are now essentially roaming the streets of Kabul, and they're posing a threat, especially these big crowds we've seen outside the airport. So the U.S. has sent an alert to Americans saying, look, don't come to the airport unless we explicitly tell you to do so, because they're worried something could happen, not just there, but as they're transiting the city. The reason this is important is because this could force the U.S. to consider doing more of those helicopter, you know, drops into the city to pick people up and take them to the airport. And everyone is a little bit worried that that could upset whatever delicate balance or whatever agreement has has been made between the Taliban who hold the city and the U.S. that holds the airport. And the Afghans who supported the U.S. effort are worried about retaliation. They are gradually getting out of the country. Some three flights arrived in Northern Virginia recently. But what do we know about what the process is like for them and the unaccompanied minors being sent out on these aircraft? I think the process is really in progress, depending on where you end up. I spoke to somebody who spoke to some of the Afghans who landed in Northern Virginia today. They're being housed at a community college. They said they're healthy, they're in a good place, but it's very disorganized. It's not clear who's in charge, and it's not clear where they're going next. And that's the same for the people in Doha we've spoken to. They've been there for days. It's hot. It's unclear. And, and the bigger problem that people keep flagging to us is there's children wandering around all of these facilities. They're unaccompanied. It's not clear where they're going. And we got photos of a flight from Kabul that ended up in Oslo, Norway, of a bunch of unaccompanied children being tended to by soldiers. And by the end of the flight, being tended to by older children were taking care of the younger children, just helping out and, and, and pitching in wherever they can. It's incredible. And I know you've tried to help as much as you can with folks trying to get out of the country. Christina, thank you very much. Thank you.